thanks for joining me again. Just a quickie. I don't expect much, many of you to watch this one. Um, it's more for my own benefit, really. Been cracking on the bike, trying to get some get some rides in while we're on this lockdown. Get my hour a day in, and uh, really pleased today. You managed to get up to an 18.3 average over an hour. So um, that's one of the quickest rides I've done in about two years. But I can say, got the old bike out again. Feeling really good. So I'm putting the ride on. This is the one I've just done. It's uh, it's around about an hour long, like I say. If you want to watch it, if you want to see some of the beautiful Leicestershire countryside, then uh, fill your boots. Well, let's crack on. Straight out of the garage, let's go for it. Nah, like an absolute numpty. I'm struggling to get my feet in my cleats. I managed to get one in, and uh, you can hear me still fumbling, trying to get that second one in. I've got these done up a little bit tight at the minute and uh, if you don't get it on the first hit you can faff a couple of times to, before it clips in. Ah, it's just gone though, it's just got in now, we're off. What an absolutely beautiful day. The camera's picking up a bit of vibration, this um, bit of road down here the surface is quite it's quite rough as you get a bit of speed up it does resonate through the uh, through the bars and the camera's picking that up but it, it does smooth out when I get off this uh, off this bit of road been trying to keep this ride down to an hour for the uh, for the lockdown hour a day exercise Absolutely crack on. Never been fitter. This is probably the busiest bit of road on the whole the whole ride. Just downhill. Coming into Narbra. We'll hang a left in a minute. Get in through the village. Just on the right there was where the uh, the first DNA murders were carried out. They used the DNA to find the uh, Mr. Pitchfork. Quite a famous one. I think there was a TV documentary about it as well. But it's a lovely place, lovely area. This. This is a smoother bit of road. Look, much nicer. This is my usual route. I call it the Bumblebee Loop. It's about 18 miles. I think I've got a slight tailwind heading up to High Cross, which is where we're going to go. That's the uh, highest point in Leicestershire, pretty much. There's or at least one of two. So when we get up there, it's got a good view of the whole of the uh, well, the whole of the area around. It's really nice. Carrying some good speed down here though, I think we've got about 25 mile an hour. And we'll hang a sharp left at the uh, mini roundabout. And crack on down towards Littlethorpe. And the train train line's uh, clear today, sometimes the barriers are down here and you have to stop, but uh, perfect today, straight across. bit bumpy though, Jesus. That's the only thing with the road bike, there's no front suspension so the camera does get a pounding. On the mountain bike the, the pictures are much smoother. This is the Cyclic Fly 12 which is, uh, it's not a bad camera but it, it's working its socks off trying to keep this this picture smooth because I say it's quite harsh the ride on that. It, this is clamped straight to the uh, to the handlebars Now this is a bit of a hill this one, you can't really see it on there, but it's, it's quite steep. And we're just sort of coming out, once we get out through these last few houses we'll be uh, into the countryside. Oh, is it coming out there?
the roads are so quiet at the minute, it's uh, great for cycling. There's hardly a car on the road, look. Just the old van. Morning, sir. Picking up a little bit of resonance again, this bit of road here has been resurfaced last year and it's a bit wobbly, bobbly. I hate that grit they put down, the grit road surface, it's such a rough, horrible surface. The smooth tarmac is just so much nicer to ride on. This road's bringing us down to Cosby. I like these videos, like recording summer rides. Come like winter time when you can't really get out if it's wet or horrible, then I shall I'll stick this video on me uh, on my screen while I'm on the turbo trainer, and it's almost like stepping back in time to a beautiful summer's day, and you can uh, do your ride if you like in virtual reality, just using these uh, these videos, listening to myself bleating on. There we go into into Cosby. Nice little village, Cosby. It's uh, quite small, quite dainty, pretty. Got a little stream running all the way through it. Middle of winter, the, win the water does get quite close to the houses. Or some of them, it floods up makes some of the roads impassable but it's uh, it's a nice little village this one Boy, it's a bit rough down here again I'm trying to miss those potholes and as we get down here to the mini roundabout We're going to hang a right. Quite low wind today. There's not a lot, so I think slight bit behind us, but nothing much. Can we get round without hitting any traffic? Oh yeah. Keep that momentum going. I love this bike. It's so, it's just a beautiful bike to ride. This is the specialized tarmac. I've got a, I've got a video on it um, and all the things I've done to it. We're just coming up to the middle of the village and then we'll uh, we'll hang a left and then we're back out into the countryside again pretty much past the golf course let's get over these dastardly speed humps absolutely massive and i don't think they're slowing anybody down
There we go, posh end of town now. Well. <laughs> now we're going to do a right here. Again, if I can just get round without no cars coming, it'd be great. Yeah, flying, look, we're flying. Done well, actually, I've not had to stop yet. <laughs> and it always breaks your momentum if you have to pull up. I'm just trying to get my mindset right. There's a big hill coming up in a minute. So I'm just preparing myself. And you'll start to see the pace drop off now as I start to climb this hill. It's just a bit of a long one with a kicker halfway up. I always find at this point my legs are starting to burn a bit, starting to ache. But then if I carry on, I go through it and you sort of get to about seven or eight miles and they're, they're absolutely flying. But this first, well, it's sort of like the five, six miles in they really start to ache. I don't think we're in that far yet, but they're, uh, this, this hill always gets you. Give a shout out to Nick. Moved to Australia, he might like this. He used to ride this route quite often. Bit of a memory, mate. Yeah, it got a bit of a downhill and then it kicks up into a, a little steep bit. And then it's a lovely downhill sweeper. It's really nice. Ooh, a bit bumpy there. That resonance again. Didn't get out on the bark much from, well, through the winter months. It's been so wet. We've had so much rain. That I've been doing a bit on the uh, on the turbo, not enough. Oh, this this hill's really kicking in now. Look, this is the steepest bit on this section. If we just get up to the top of this hill and then uh, we're away down the other side. It always helps me if I see a cyclist in front. It just gives me a little bit of uh, a target to. <laughs> Have a go at. <laughs> a little bit competitive sometimes. <laughs> now we can get some speed up. We're going downhill now. We've got over the brow. You should get about 35 mile an hour down here. It's uh, it's quite a nice downhill section. Got all the fresh leaves coming out on the trees. It looks beautiful at the minute. Lovely time of year. Again, trying to miss them potholes with a couple of big ones there.
and look at that traffic lights good to us again straight across fantastic So this is Broughton Astley. Again, another little town. We'll be straight through this and out the other side. And another junction been good to us straight across that one as well. Like I say, traffic's brilliant at the minute, it's hardly out on the road. I never get across all of these junctions without stopping. You know, you usually get caught at one or two of them. Not today. This is a nice smooth bit of road down here, this, this little bit here, look. Oh, you can just tell the sound of it and how smooth the picture is. You just feel it, the speed you can pick up on the smooth road. Sure, it'll turn back to the rough stuff now. <laughs> you don't get it for long, dear. This is a bit of a grind up here. This is up towards Falsworth, and it's a slight incline, long and steady. few bikes out same idea as me everybody's trying to get their hour a day in I do wonder how long it'll be before we get back to normal and out of this COVID-19 lockdown Well, to be fair, I don't think I've had as much time on my hands. It's, um, it's you know, we're all on furlough or whatever, and it uh, gives you a chance to, well, get things done around the house and get out on your bike. I mean, I've been doing a ride every other day, getting out on the road bike, but also with the uh, on the mountain bike, put the, the trailer on the back with a dog in it, so the dog can have a walk. But that's hard going, you know, pulling a dog trailer. That really does get you get your legs going put the same amount of effort in on this and you're doing 18, 19 mile an hour. Oh, a bit bumpy down there. trying to miss all those blooming potholes it's the cracks in the road the road cracks up down here and it kind of drops off there's quite a lot of cracks you've got to watch and ruts felt good today though keeping good pace I thought it was going to be a reasonable average I think the last couple of times I've been out, I managed like a 17.5-ish, somewhere around there. But today, it just felt, yeah, it felt different. And on this ride, it's uphill going, and then I get to high cross and turn around and come back, and then you're obviously downhill, so this is a climb all the way up to the to the point and then the the route back is 
yeah, it's a, it's a much easier ride. You get a lot of speed coming back, usually averaging sort of 21, 22 mile an hour coming back. So it's all about it's all about getting getting up the hills and pacing yourself. If you absolutely burn yourself out getting up there, you haven't got anything in your legs to come back and your averages drop. But like I say, getting up these hills, because you can see this now, we're starting to incline again. And there's a real good there's a real good kicker in a minute. Getting us up into Frolsworth. quite a long section this bit it's nice though just feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere I can see the pace slowing up now this is just starting to we're starting to climb a bit now yeah going down the gears for Oldsworth. So just come around this bend, there's a sign on the left hand side and I always think if I can keep going sort of keeping it until I get to that sign and then either get off the pedals, here's the sign look. So what we're going to do, am I off the pedals or am I going to stay in? Oh the gears are down. <laughs> come on here we go. Let's get it up here. I'm off the pedals trying to trying to get it up this hill. You just can't see the incline on the video. It's, it's a good steep hill this one. It's nice to get off the saddle sometimes though, get some blood flowing around your bits. There we go, we've broke the back of that one. We'll get to the top of the road, we'll do a right and then a left. Nice little downhill that bit there, but then it punishes you because you've got to get up the other side here. So we've got to do this little uphill bit. And this is pretty much a steady, it's a steady uphill now, a bit of a climb for about a quarter of a mile. I'm about due for a new set of tyres, so I'm still deliberating what tyres to get for the bike, I'm not sure. I don't know whether to go for the Continentals. It's a tough one. These at the minute have got Mavic wheels and tyres on them. I went for the Chris Syrian road set and uh, I've not had to change the tyres, but the, they are getting down now. So I don't know whether just to put, buy another set of them, because they have been really good tyres, really light and fast. 
this is a nice little downhill now into Claybrook get a bit of speed up down the hill <laughs> look at the vibration though, Jesus but we are doing a good 35 down here probably in 40 I'm going to pay for this in a minute though because we've got a big climb. Well, it ain't quite the Tour de France, but it's big on my account. <laughs> Around the bend over the Umpback Bridge. Love this bit. Now it's the will. The, the the pain starts. <laughs> it's a pretty much an uphill battle all the way now to uh, to the top of High Cross. Starts starts nice and steady, and then it just gets uh, it, yeah, it gets a bit harder. And the legs are feeling good at this point. They're not too bad, which is surprising. I think that slight tailwind, just that tiny tailwind, just behind me, just helped push me along. There's not a lot. It's quite a still day, but it's just you, know, you don't need a lot. Just to, you know, a little bit behind you just makes you feel that bit better. This is a steep little bit. Up off the pedals again. Up to the centre of the village, to the, to the junction, and then we'll hang a right. Just keep that speed going. I've done done well with that. And then there's junction eight. Can't really see this one. It's a bit blind. But there we go. Crack on. And there's a massive pothole down here. You got to try and avoid. And they put a drain in the middle of the road. They must have changed the shape of the road, and there's an actual, like a slatted drain, right smack bang in the middle. You gotta be as careful not to go down it. A bit bumpy here, look, wow. And then your mind sets to the hill coming up. This is the big climb now, all the way up to High Cross. It's probably half a mile, something like that. Maybe a little bit further, might be a mile. It just slowly gets to you, slowly grinds you down as you're getting up there. You can see the pace dropping off already. I'm sure the gear's gonna start clicking in a minute. There we go. <laughs> yeah, spinning now, spinning, trying to get up here, keeping them legs going. You can hear me, I've got quite a cadence there getting up there. Just trying to keep it going because it is quite a steep, but it is where you can see it now, you can see how steep that is. But like I say, this is taking us to one of the highest points in Leicestershire, right on the Warwickshire border. I'm blowing now. And 
all I'm focusing on here at the minute, you'll see a uh, giveaway sign in front, right in the distance, and that's what I'm looking for. As soon as I see that, I know I'm almost there. Halfway point. Halfway point distance wise, but not time wise. It's a 20 minute ride back, so it's like 40 minutes up here, 20 minutes back. That's the difference in the uh, incline. Just see in the distance now. Here we go, halfway house. I'll just pull up here and have a bit of drink. Clear the lungs and uh, off we go again. <laughs> This is nice downhill section here, just as we come around this bend by the farm. It's a good 40 mile an hour downhill. Straight down Bumblebee Lane. And the views from up here are unbelievable. You can see right the way into Leicester from here. All the way in the distance. The resonation going through the upper, the bars, look at making the, the picture go all wobbly. But we are getting some speed up down here, like I say, it's 40 mile an hour down this hill. Top gear. The only trouble is now I picked up a tiny headwind, so it is slightly harder going back than it would be, obviously, if it was the other way around. But we've had the benefit of it being behind us up the hills, so. Uh, we just got to pedal through it now. Oh, missed the pothole. Ooh, that was a biggie. Just come to a little uphill bit here. It's not very steep, but it's just enough to take the pace out of here. Just reminds you you've still got a pedal. <laughs>
usually if I get up to the top of high cross and I've got an average of anything over 16 I can always get back with a sort of 17.2 average today I got to the top with a 17 average which was ridiculous I've no, I don't think I've ever had a 17 average getting up to the top of high cross I do think Strava's been a bit tainted since the uh, e-bikes have all come on the market. A lot of the, uh, you know, the segments have been uh, infiltrated by the e-bikes. Now we've got to come to this junction here, and we're going to hang a right, but it's a busy road this one, so you've got to be careful. Here we go, and we're out. Now this is the main route straight back to Leicester and this is the one I'm going to stay on all the way it's a nice old road it's got a few like resonant services on the way back but on the whole it's a nice steady fast road it's good and I say it's all slightly downhill there's bits there's a few kickers in there but most of it is downhill just a nice steady downhill all the way And the legs now feeling good. Kind of got through the burn, and uh, yeah, they're spinning well. This is us heading down into Sharnford now. Going another little town. Just put some speed cameras up here, so uh, the cars are now generally having to be a bit more uh, speed aware before they just come whizzing through here. But now they're having to slow down 30 mile an hour, so we can generally keep up with them. Look, we have got a bit of a kicker just coming out the other side which I usually try and hold my gear if I can hold my gear and get off the pedals and get up it I'm, I'm happy Pedals up, getting it some wobbling up here now. Look, putting some effort in. Bingo. just drops into a little bit of an uphill section this it's quite a hard one as well because the, the road is a little bit it's a little bit rough it's that like say the chippings on the on the top and look at this stupid woman here pulled out on me I mean why could she not have waited she could have either gone and 
Yeah, just carried on, but no, no, she waited till I was right on top of it before she pulled out on me. Unbelievable, Jeff. Still just slightly uphill. If I can just get over the brow, this little this little peak up here. You do have to keep your eye out for the drains down there. There's a few massive drains that are dropped, and uh, you don't want to be going down them. over the top just a nice steady little bit slightly slightly down but mainly flat now this road down there used to be beautiful it was that really smooth tarmac until they slapped all this this chippings on the top of it it smoothed out a bit over the time but it was beautiful before it was a lovely bit of road with me at this point you've done well <laughs> I think the footage would be a lot smoother if it was on like a helmet or something but that the cyclic, it's quite a heavy camera, it's not the lightest, and if it was on my helmet, I'd, I'd feel it on there. It'd be, yeah, make my helmet wobble about, I think. But it's more for it's more for accidents. I've always put it on there in case of an incident or something. It's just going to capture it. It's on the bars, you don't even know it's there. And I have caught a few f funny old things on there over the uh, couple of years I've had it. the vibration on this now though this bit of road here is horrid it's just really resonates I put the FSA plasma bars on the bike and it made a massive difference to riding on this this sort of road the uh, aluminium bars it had on it originally they'd really get through into your wrists but these carbon bars are just super absorbing the uh, the resonance Obviously, the camera's in the you know on the centre, just uh, above the stem, so it still gets it. But the bars, the, the the flex within the bars, takes it out of your hands. It's it's yeah, cracking bit of kit. I'm still managing to keep his pace up. Nice steady. Got a crossroads in a minute. Just hoping the lights change.
day green for me. Let's look at that. As soon as you get on the smoother bit of tarmac, look, do the difference. If only it was all like that. It must be beautiful riding on the continent. Oh, and the lights on green were straight through. Got a bit of a hill coming up in a minute. This is probably the last, the last of the yeah medium ones. There's there's well, there's one more I suppose just going into uh, just as you go up through Narbra. But this is the this is uh, just a bit of a kicker to be thrown in there. Just to a game, you know, may remind you you've got to keep pedalling. Go, just try and get up and over, drop it a couple of gears. There we go, down the other side now. This is a lovely run into, all the way into Narbra now. It's nice, steady downhill. Just keep a consistent pace going on. It's it's good down here. Work of the residence again. Get that speed up, it soon comes through the bars. Up through the stem there, look at that. The camera's really struggling to keep it all together. <laughs> but we're pulling, you know, getting up to 20, 26, 27 mile an hour down here. Just goes uphill slightly. It's just really shallow, just a small, small climb. Not a lot. And now we're downhill. Rock and roll. I've really enjoyed watching this back. It's uh, it's quite strange. Reliving the moment. <laughs> I've rode this route so many times. It is my favourite. Just quick hour spin out and it's the one I always judge myself on I'll come back to it at the uh, you know after the winter get on the bike and do the bumblebee loop and uh, and see how fit you are or you're not <laughs> see how much Christmas pudding yet The thing is, before you know where you are, we'll be back to next Christmas again. It's just ridiculous how fast it's coming round. But we've got to make the most of this nice weather.
as we're coming back down here. This turning now on the right would take us back to Cosby where we uh, originally went through, so we're we're getting back now. Going to stay on this main route, keeping that that cadence up, keeping the speed going, watching the average slowly climb up. Just overtake this guy, look. We've just got to get up and over this train bridge in front of us. Just a bit of a, uh, a little bit of a climb. Dig in deep, let's get over here, come on. Always kicked it down a couple. Off the pedals. <laughs> Approaching Narbor again. And this is a slight, I suppose from now up, it's, it's a little bit uphill just to finish off. But it's that end is nigh, so. You, just digging deep on this last bit usually. So there's just two kind of pushes now to the end. There's this little bit of a hill here. So we could just dig in and push his way up here if we can. The end is nigh. We've just got to get up to that roundabout up there. So we'll just give it a real good push up this bit of hill. Just, oh, it's steeper than it looks. You can see me slowing down now, trying to get up here. Again, just hoping for traffic, make sure there's nothing coming. And we've done it, we're there. Just as we get off this roundabout, there's a little downhill section and then there's the uh, final uphill to the end. So we're almost back.
nice little bit of downhill and if you can get through these traffic lights here then it gives you a run up the hill back to base there's one of them gone can we get to the next one that's all we want to do I need this one to get up the hill yeah straight through no problem just get a bit of momentum down here because it's a good climb the last little bit about a quarter of a mile uphill to the roundabout under the M1 bridge and this is it now, the last climb well if you've managed to stay with me then thanks for that I've enjoyed this little spin out got to keep going out and getting us our exercise while the uh, lockdown's on and this one's perfect it's a perfect hour really pushing hard just get this last little climb up and done we ain't got to worry about the legs now because we're we're finished. We're back. All we've got to do is negotiate the roundabout and we're done. What an absolutely beautiful day. It's about 20 degrees, really low wind, perfect day for cycling. I hope you've enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the ride. It's the uh, the Bumblebee Loop. That's where we've just been. You can check it out on Strava. Please join me again. I've got a road bike playlist. All things bikes. Thanks for watching.